Gold, it's a shiny metallic element that can be easily melted into bars, coins, and jewelry. It doesn't rust, it doesn't decay. Gold is, well, golden. So in this video, we're gonna turn this into a 24 karat gold bike. I mean, who doesn't want a gold bike, right? Let the games begin. First things first, why gold? Well, people seem to love the stuff and it's seen as the ultimate bling, but its value is ultimately just a social construction. It's valuable because we say it is and we all agree that it will be in the future. Chemically, gold is fairly uninteresting. It barely reacts with any other element, yet out of the 118 elements in the periodic table, gold is the one that us humans seem to love. So anyway, back to the frame. Well, it's been through a lot. It's taken me through various challenges. I've ridden across some of the toughest sects of Paru Bay. And last year, I even tried to mirror polish the frame to a certain varying degree of success. But now, it's time for gold. But what's your plan, I hear you ask? Well, I've already got the frame in the stand. I've removed all of the components that I think I need to remove in order to get access to all of the areas of the frame. I've already wiped it over and removed much of the dirt that was on there and bits of dust. Then I'm gonna to need to go over the entire frame with an abrasive paper just to rough up the surface. Now, it does pain me somewhat to say that, seeing as only last year I spent hours and hours and hours and hours trying to smooth this frame as much as possible. But, you know, we'll brush over that fact. Once that's done, I'm gonna to need to wipe the frame all over with a microfiber cloth and some disc brake cleaner or isopropyl alcohol to remove any last bits of residue, dust and dirt that's gonna affect the adhesive sticking onto the frame. Then I can move on to applying the adhesive in the form of a spray glue. And then it's gonna be the crucial part, the best fun bit, where we start to apply some gold leaf. Right, let's do it. Ah. Right, so far, so good. That's the easy bits done. Not a lie, it was easy as expected. Now, next stage is to move on to applying the gold leaf. Now, I haven't done this before, so it is gonna be something new and something I'm gonna learn as we go. I have read up a little bit about how to apply it, but I'm the kind of person that likes to learn as I go. And that is the best thing about taking on projects like this for me. And if you like projects like this, and it sounds like your kind of thing, you're probably like our Maker series over on GCN Plus, where we see two master craftspeople creating real cycling works of art. So if that's your thing, head over and check that out. But in terms of applying the gold leaf on this bike, let me show you the first piece. So I've got to be really delicate and careful here. So these, there are sheets of gold leaf. Once I've got the adhesive onto the bike, which I'm gonna do next, I then need to simply carefully lay the sheets over onto the bike. Now these are super delicate. You can see it even blowing in the little bit of wind as I move it around. Then once it's on the bike, can then take our soft little delicate makeup brush and just work our way around, gently brushing the gold leaf onto all the adhesive and brushing off the loose, loose bits. Then we just need to repeat the process however many times and bits of this gold sheet that's gonna do to uh, do the entire frame. I think we could be in for a little bit of a long time here. But anyway, right, let's get to that. Three, two, one, let's go. Spray, stick, stay. God, it is so delicate. Oh yeah, by the way, there's not actually 24 karat gold leaf. That would be ridiculous. I'm not gonna blow the entire GCN tech budget on uh, 24 karat gold. I mean, Ollie wouldn't have any money left spare to do his uh, hair and makeup every week. So we're using imitation gold leaf just to save costs and be a bit more practical. Right. Little update so far, it's still going, everything's starting to progress. We've got lots of gold looking bike tubes, although I've got to say there are some sections that it's not quite as good as I was hoping. But you know, it's to be expected, we're learning as we go. 
The main tubes are a lot easier to do than some of the tight corners, especially where the welds are. There's quite a lot of little intricate areas that it's tricky to get the gold leaf to adhere to, but we're making progress and it's starting to take shape. I'm quite happy about this. But anyway, right, less talking for me. Back to gold leaf then. I love gold. So update, where are we at? Well, there's gold leaf applied to almost all of the frame. The finish isn't as good as I'd hoped, but you know, I'm a novice, we're learning. Now, the next stage, what I'm gonna do is go outside, apply a clear coat of lacquer to the frame. This is gonna protect it, and it's gonna help smooth out some of the imperfections in the surface finish, of which there are many. So that's gonna be the next stage we're gonna do. Let's head outside, make a start on that. Right, scratch that, it's raining outside. We're gonna do it in here, put the shutter up, get masked up, Happy days. Right, mask on, lid off. Then we're gonna go one coat of lacquer over the entire frame, nice and thin. Then we're gonna leave it 20 to 30 minutes, go over the whole thing once again. And that should be a nice protective layer over the whole thing, help make it extra shiny. Let's do it now, right. finished article. I think it looks pretty cool. Why don't you let me know what you think of it as well. And I've got to say, I'm fairly happy with it. Yes, there's a few imperfections here and there, but overall, it's pretty good. Now, would I recommend you try and do a project like this at home? Probably not, because I'm not exactly 100% happy with the finish, and I don't think you guys at home would be either. Therefore, if you do want something like this, it's probably worth paying that extra bit of money and getting an expert to do it. But that said, overall, it has been a fairly low cost sort of project to take on in the realms of around 50 pounds because we did use that imitation gold leaf, not the real stuff. So would I recommend doing it? Probably not. Has it been a good fun project? Yes, if it's inspired you at home to take on projects like this, I'm pleased and let me know in the comments section down below. And you'll notice that the forks aren't in the bike. That's because I'm gonna get some new ones, probably a fork that's got a disc brake mount on it so that I can hopefully build this bike into a cool little project. I'm not entirely sure what that is. So if you've got any bright ideas for what I could do with this bike, let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to GCN Tech to make sure you don't miss any cool videos like this. Right, I better get tidied up. See you later.